And welcome back. Sorry I keep looking down here. It's just that my laptop is down there and my um, I keep checking the time. Anyway, this is part two of my Xbox 360 game collection, so let's continue. Here we have Spec Ops The Line. Um, if you love movies like Fight Club and Shutter Island and, or Black Swan, the crazy person movie genre, this is that in game form. This is inspired by um, Heart of Darkness, which is also the same inspiration for the film Apocalypse Now. So if you're into dark, messed up storylines, pick this up. The gameplay is a bit repetitive and it could have been more creative, but um, the story more than makes up for it. So yeah, definitely recommend it. Next up is Bayonetta. And the action here is beautiful. It's colorful. It's it, it, it's 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 just a, an amazing sight to behold. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous and fast-paced game. Um, the puzzles are a bit can, can be a bit confusing at times, but the action sequences you can just button mash your way to this thing, and you will see some amazing stuff. I do warn you, however, do not get this on the PS3 because a different company ported this game over to PS3 and it did a lousy, lousy job. But definitely pick this up if you have a 360, for sure. Next up is The Walking Dead. And this has the same intensity as the show, only this doesn't take as much time to build up at all. Where the show, it took a while to build up its, its momentum. This builds up right away and doesn't let go. If you're a Walking Dead fan, you must have this game. Next up is Alan Wake, and this is like playing a TV show in a way, because they split the they split everything up in episodes, and um, it it has this very creepy atmosphere. There's a lot of odes to things like Stephen King, Twin Peaks, The X Files. If you're into any of this, pick this one up. It's creepy. It's it's funny at times, and um, it's a it's a great game. It can be a little too difficult at certain points, but it's still a if you have an Xbox and you love story based games, pick this one up. Next up is Clive Barker's Jericho, and I only played a little bit of this, and then I stopped playing, and then I haven't gone back to it. I, so I can't really tell you what I think of this game. I picked it up because it was cheap, and it had Clive Barker's name on it, so I figured I'd give it a shot. So who knows? I might like this game. I might not like this game, but that will, if I ever get around to playing this again, we'll see. Next up is Ghostbusters, and um, if you're a Ghostbusters fan, you must have this game. It's got the original voice actors from the films, it's got music from the first movie, it's written by the people who, who were involved in the, in the films. This is essentially Ghostbusters 3. So yeah, um, you must play this game if you love Ghostbusters. Next up is Fear or First Encounter Assault Recon, and I'm mixed up about this game because I love the atmosphere and the supernatural elements, but I didn't really care for the action stuff. I I, I didn't I felt it was out of place to have to, to be shooting humans in a, in, a, in a ghost game. It just felt like they used the wrong gameplay mechanic for this, but the supernatural atmosphere does work. It is effective. I just wish they used a different vehicle to um, showcase these ideas. Next up is uh, Left 4 Dead 2, and this is a lot of fun. If you've got friends and you want to kill zombies, but Black Ops zombies are too hard for you, um, this is the game for you. It's easy to just mow a horde of zombies down, and it's great fun to play with your friends, so um, definitely recommend this highly. Next up is Dead Rising, and this one disappointed me because... Um, this could have been one of my favorite games. They had just allowed me to free roam without a timer. Just put me in the mall, let me kill zombies, and don't time me. Instead, they force you down this uninteresting story, and it takes forever for you to kill a zombie. So yeah, this is a real missed opportunity here, because once the gameplay mechanic does happen, it is fun. So um, yeah, this could have been one of my favorites, but they dropped the ball on it. And last but not least is Condemned Criminal Origins. And this is a game that I felt that it was it was too hard for me, but it works because this is a horror game, and so the difficulty added to the atmosphere. It added to the game's brutality. So um, if you love horror games, pick this one up. There's a very creepy moment, which I won't spoil, but um, it's just it's one of the most intense moments in games, and um, it definitely messes with your head. So yeah, pick this one up.
And that does it for my Xbox 360 video game collection. Thank you so much for watching these collection videos. And um, I will see you next time when I feel like talking about something else. Take care.